Uh, joining us this morning, we have uh, David uh, Dietz, Scott Martin, Liz McDonald, and Ashley Webster. Start with Boeing. As we know by now, all the MAX jets are grounded just about around the world. The stock is down about, what, 10% this week alone. I think right now we're back to, what, 372? Can you put it up on the screen? Because, David... I want to know if you'd buy this dip, 375. So I'm uneasy <laughs> about trying to make money off Boeing in the midst of this human tragedy. But the fact of the matter is Boeing is as well situated as any company on the face of the planet. There are just huge switching costs. There is no alternative to Boeing. Boeing may have been part of the problem. We don't know. But it's going to be part of the solution. The, Amer the globe's people want to fly and fly more. And Boeing is your clear choice. So you buy it on the dip, 375. We bought it 365 yesterday. I'll be, that's you did. Exactly. You did okay. Lizzie. One big pressure for the stock is whether other airlines follow what Norwegian Air is doing, demanding now that Boeing compensate it for its grounded Boeing Max planes. Yeah. That's an issue. That's mm. that's a financial issue for Boeing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we don't know how it's going to play out. What you got? Can, can I weigh in on that? So that happened with the Dreamliner in 2013. They had to compensate about 500 million. Right now, the costs are projected to be 1.5 billion. It could be much greater. But we've already lost uh, about 35 billion. In market cap. So let's put, yeah, 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 put it in perspective there. Okay, Boeing right now, 375. Facebook, the New York Times reports they're facing a criminal investigation over data sharing. And this comes after a massive Facebook and Instagram outage yesterday, which has been corrected. Scott, is this the issue, a criminal investigation, which would really take the stock down significantly? Mm. You mean to tell me that Facebook is stealing our data and breaching our privacy? I mean, what? oh my gosh. No, what I, I mean to tell I, I, you, Scott, I, I, is that it's, it's a criminal. No, it, it's a criminal investigation. Yeah, I know it, they've yeah, been messing around with data before. This is criminal, yeah. and that's different. Yeah. But, Stuart, I mean, are, okay, if it's criminal, are we going to see Zuckerberg and Sandberg behind bars? I mean, I, I don't believe that this is any different than some of these other scandals, to be honest with you. And, yes, it's being reflected a little bit in the stock today. Mm. This also could be reflected in, uh, via the outage yesterday that we saw on Facebook and Insta. To me, this is more of the same with respect to this company. And here's the difference, I think, with Facebook versus J&J &J and some of these other companies, which, yes, are different problems. Facebook's trying to fix the problem, and maybe they're doing it, albeit it very slowly. The reality is Facebook is trying to work with regulators. They're trying to work with government to get past all these problems they're having. All right, we hear you. Facebook right now, 169 per share. Here's something which I just think this is big brother. Mm. It's Tesla. Yeah. They're collecting a lot of data Ton. about their customers, yeah. people who drive their cars. They know where you drive, where you live, where yep. you work, and cameras on the cars are recording all the time. David, that doesn't, it's not going to affect the stock. The stock actually is up this morning. But it affects me. I can never get away from this big brother feeling. I'm being watched. Well, I mean, you know, all great marketing companies want to know as much as possible about their customers. We just don't know enough right now in terms of the disclosures, the waivers that the customers signed that they're not reading. Oh, just want to take off. Print? You'll never great read point. it. You'll never you, read you it. Know. Great point. <laughs> you can opt out. You can say, don't take video clips. The only person, they actually capture people on the street, these cameras, and those people have no no uh, right to privacy, according to Tesla. That's just part of the deal. But they absolutely record Everything you do, speed, you know direction. You know what? I, I'm sorry. And sure you've agreed to it. I, we, look, you, yeah, we're all going to have to get used to this. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no way around. But you, but, and you're but you can opt out of having yeah. that data shared. You can't. Okay. Well, yes. But you know, but you're right that. about the warnings. They're the size of pharmaceutical <laughs> font type warnings, right? So the yes. issue. Watch this. Did you see 60 Minutes on what's going on in China with their electric vehicles? They're no. beaming it back into the government, supposedly for <laughs> infrastructure, what highways need to be built. Yeah. You can't tell me they're, they're not doing surveillance. Listen, I'm not a spooky tinfoil hat person, but it's. Uh, <laughs> you, gave me, that. you gave me a second look. But, <laughs> but I'm not. But you know what I mean. But when I saw that, I thought that was really. Yeah. Chilling. Uh, it is chilling, uh, but I just don't think you can get around it. OK, uh, Big Board has turned around. Not much, but we're now up on eight points, four points, dead flat to slightly higher. I'll call it that. Uh, GE. OK, they gave a not so rosy forecast, but the CEO, Larry Culp, says 
GE will get significantly better in 2020. That's enough to give the stock an ice little burst up 3% and back to $10 a share. A California court finds J&J, Johnson Johnson, liable for cancer caused by baby powder, talcum powder. That could get real expensive, Dave, because there's a lot of these lawsuits. Would you buy the stock at 138? Well, you know, we wouldn't sell it at 138. And here's the thing. In investing, it's all about, is it a one-time cost? Is it really going to affect those ongoing recurring revenues? At this point, J&J still has a great brand name. Triple A balance sheet. This happened during uh, administrations way in the past. These will get resolved. A lot of this can be reversed on appeal. I would not use this as a reason to dump J&J stock. Okay, it's at 138 as we speak. Next case, Netflix. They say their subscribers watch an average of two hours a day. That is an average. So what does that tell you about uh, Netflix's marketplace, Scott? They're still dominating, and they will continue to do so. Streaming, obviously, has totally taken over, and it tells us that we're pretty confident in owning the stock here, Stuart. You know, one of the knocks on Netflix, besides the fact that they were making big spends towards last year on content, was that Disney, Hulu, all these other companies, you know, NBC with the streaming, were going to come out and just totally uh, erode their dominance. And the reality is this. Streaming is such a big environment, kind of like online shopping is becoming. The world is big enough for Netflix and some of those other companies I mentioned to succeed. So that's why you need to take pullbacks in Netflix, as we saw towards the end of last year, for example, to buy it and use your money to get some NFLX. Okay. If, uh, if the average is two hours mm. a day... Somebody is watching for eight, nine, ten, oh, yeah. twelve senior hours a day. Senior citizens, seven senior hours a day. Watching. <laughs> People have to go at me again. <laughs> no, I don't have you don't have any. You don't do anything. No, I don't. Yeah. Here's the problem: People are not watching Netflix per se. They're watching great content. And now all the entertainment companies in the world, including Disney and Amazon, are now getting into that game. And there's no monopoly on streaming. Disney's going to go. Hit it hard in terms of the streaming. So is Amazon. So the competition is coming. Now. And the problem with the <laughs> Netflix is the valuation assumes they're going to have sole marketplace for years and years in the future. Mm. Okay. So should Stuart Varney buy Netflix now, even though he doesn't have a subscription to Netflix? No. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> Why not? By the latter. Because, 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 the the, because the potential upside, if they continue to do great, <laughs> is less than the potential downside if Amazon, Disney, and these other entertainment companies take significant market share. Buy, right. a, buy a subscription, they don't buy the stock. <laughs> they won't. Buy the, don't buy the stock, the future's hard to predict. Uh, ain't that the truth? Um, <laughs> oh, better take a look at Amazon. They've stopped selling two books which promoted autism cures. Mm. Uh, these books promote potentially life-threatening treatments, in yes. quotes. Um, what do you think about that? They banned these two. Sounds Obviously like a good thing. Obviously not going to affect the stock, but uh, they, yeah. they've done it. Yeah. And it affects this... Uh, Actually, it affects the vaccine issue. Yeah, it's, yeah they're calling it junk, it junk science, right? Yeah. So that's the issue. Right. Yeah. So we all exactly. agree with this? Yes. Uh, Hey, any bookseller has the right to remove a book from their shelf, and I actually applaud them for taking some responsibility for what they're marketing to the public. Got it. Now then, Toyota. I promised you this story at the top of the show. Uh, they've designed a new system <laughs> that would hit a car thief with tear gas. Okay, it's a bit complicated than that. What, I think what it's else? my favorite story of the it day. Is. Let's be honest. They filed for a patent for a system that can fill the cabin of the car with tear gas if someone attempts to steal your car. The system is also designed to put scents, nice perfume smells into the cabin, but they would also contain a pressurized can of tear gas in there oh. that can be activated in the event that your car is uh, But what happens stolen. if you press the wrong button yeah. you get tear gas instead of nice scent? Then you're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, feel, I feel really safe right, driving a car loaded with tear gas. What if your teenage kid takes the car? By the way, does it dispense uh, yeah. Visine? Well, stop Junior. Does it also shoot out Visine? I mean, this, what a crazy story this is. Uh, Scott, we're yeah. almost out of time, but you've got a chance to chime in, lad. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm looking for the barbecue potato chip fragrance, ah, but I'll tell you what, talking. in Chicago, yeah. where we still have tons of carjackings, this would be very, very popular. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really is fascinating. It's it's fast fast now, they haven't put it in production. They've just filed for the patent. Okay, but they but filed for the patent. in the future. <laughs> and then the carjacker hit someone and causes an accident or worse, and now who's going to be liable? <laughs> That's oh, good, that's David. Good, good thinking. Too. Are you a lawyer or something? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get the Boeing attorneys to help him. Right. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dietz and uh, Scott, thanks very much for joining us, both of you. Always appreciate it.